the big news this week was the graffiti at nope. Stevie Tomatoes. I am ashamed of you, sir. Nope. <laughs> Chad wants to get me arrested. I don't know for... when you scooted away to Cape Coral to do this and then back undetected, but... Sorry, Carl. The, the dabble verse has shifted already. John has just unearthed a bombshell on today's show oh, right what, now. What's happening right now? He has a video of your wife telling you to take a nap. Oh, Jesus. He's, He's doing that again? Oh, no. He did that, he did that two days ago. He's doing it again today? Yes. Unbelievable. Well, you need a nap every day, Carl. This fucking guy oh, is killing He's me. A, see, that's that's why. Now, what is it called? It's called doxing when you turn people in and stuff or whatever. Let's see. This give give out personal information. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want him to have a picture of me wearing my CPAP. That could go viral. <laughs> yeah, right? Watch out, EDR. <laughs> he, was giving out Mike Morse's, he was giving out Mike Morse's ex-wife's address today. Uh, was he? Uh, Class fun act. stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's rewind a couple of days here, Cardiff. Bear with me. I realize the newest thing is the mandolin net video again for whatever reason. I can but, live this one down, hamburger. Yeah, I know. He, he does think that I, for some reason that video like ruined our show or something. There's no evidence of it, but John really wants it to be true, so he keeps saying it. But this is uh, from the Dabblers Anonymous, and um, the user is I'm not Vince the Lawyer, which tells me it's probably Vince the Lawyer, and he posted uh, this video. So Vince, okay. <laughs> Wait, that looks like Carl's handwriting right there. Oh, yeah, so what I asked you, do you know what what Carl's handwriting looks like? hundred percent, that's him. What is that? All right, so this is what's great about this. So John's showing a photo that he took of the door in the bathroom. It says FSJFKB. And uh, he's showing it to Vince, and Vince goes, oh, yeah, that's Carl's handwriting. Now, you would think the question would be, well, how do you know what Carl's handwriting looks like? Nope, doesn't care, believes him immediately because he wants to believe it. And what's crazy here is that he calls Kevin Brennan to tell Kevin Brennan that he found out I'm the one who wrote this in a bathroom style somewhere. That is him then. Do you know why? Because I made fun of the way he makes S's because I was teaching my kid how to do it. Like, he has like a fat S at the top. I don't t- See, again, these are the tells that Vince puts out for anyone with a normal mind. Anyone other than Suttering John would know this. He goes, you know how I know that? Because he makes the S's like this. I was teaching my kids how to draw S's. Good. John, how old do you think his kids are? He's not teaching his kids how to draw asses. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you idiot. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So that's what it. is that, though? Hold on, let me just fucking... Yeah, hold on a second. Just hold on. Here he's calling okay, Kevin. It, it says FSJ, but wh- where is that? Hold on. Call Kevin. I just got to let him know. Because uh, he's probably doing his show, but hold on. He's probably doing his show. Hello? Hey, Kevin, it's John. John who? Stuttering John. <laughs> That's my favorite. John U. Suttering John. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey. That, um... The thing I sent you at the... Yeah, I'm just going to tell you this. Oh. The writing has just been confirmed. It was, it, it's Carl. It's Carl who wrote that on the door. That door. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I just want to let you know. Cause... John, come over when you're done. My Jenny's here. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Fuck it. So, I, that's amazing. It is Carl. Wow, Vince. You just broke... 100%. Uh... <laughs> Carl, if that was you... I would I would shame you for not being more creative with it. Yeah, right. I know. I'd have more. I would have more fun with yeah, it. Some sort of calling card, like, well, something with fair, teeth. He, to be fair, he put more effort into that call to Kevin than he did to Trump. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Absolutely, that's, that's true too. Yeah, he was so proud. All right, so, so Kevin, Kevin, uh, Kevin, Kevin, uh, Carl. Um, so when he went to the owners of the place, what did and he told the owners? And what did the owners say? You would you think they would just go? Well, I guess we have to wipe it off. Were they really caught up into a full investigation? Let's, of it? let's check it out. I have the clips right here. Now that he knows it's me, he's ready to go tattle on me. So anyway, um, I went to Stevie Tomatoes yesterday. I talked to the manager, who I love, and uh, showed her the bathroom stall that Carl defaced the door. And showed her a picture of Carl. Gave her Carl's address. <laughs> she will be billing him here in Cape Coral for having <laughs> to get a guy to come in and clean the Sharpie off the bathroom door. Okay. I hope this entire conversation happened in the bathroom. I, yeah, so, that's what I picture. That's what I picture as well. Now, I don't know if any of this happened. I, I would assume I it didn't because he's about to lie. So I assume all of this is a lie, but you never know with John. Some things, we might be sprinkling in some facts here and there. Now, see, Lady K... You forget that Stevie Tomatoes has t- cameras. They have you going in and coming out. <laughs> so this is where John is stupid. He thinks that I was recently in Cape Coral. I was not. Right. We were in Tampa. 
John. We had a live show in Tampa. You should know because you live in Cape Coral how far that is from Cape Coral. I wasn't in Cape Coral anytime recently. And John's like, and we have you. They were they obviously have it on video that you were going to the bathroom. You're making that up. You're a liar. No, we have a video that you weren't in Cape Coral. Yeah, you're lying about everything. And if John. you were in Cape Coral, would you go to Stevie Tomatoes? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> they it's know so it was you. <laughs> they know. And that's how you make your arrests. Nobody else makes them that way. <laughs> According to Vince and his kids. That is so fucking stupid right there. No one else. Seven billion people. No one else makes them that way. <laughs> that, S is a, that S is commonly referred to as a Carl. Yeah, yeah that's correct. <laughs> you, I can see him now when he's teaching his students. Oh, you Carl dead ass here. Correct yourself. <laughs> You you done uh, fucked up, brah. Yeah, you I know. Banned. I'm in a lot of trouble. I know. I know she she I I showed her the picture. I showed her boyfriend <laughs> the picture. They know who you are. They know what you're up to. You know what? They might know who I am because they might have gone online and found all the videos of us goofing on this ass. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, Carl, we love that guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. That would be you amazing. Know? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Like, oh yeah, no, we know. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, he, uh, Carl, he obviously watches you all the time. When he said you fucked up bra, you know where he got bra from, right? Where's that? Uh, that's a that's a wheeze colloquialism. That yes. is. He's been watching Rochester. He's been, and he's the only one I know that does that. To that extent that he's doing it. That's true. So he might yes. have taken it from them. Uh, quickly, not to jump ahead or anything. He does not have a motorcycle. If I'll tell oh. you right now, where I live in Pennsylvania, I live like, the, the, like a, well, not a block, but within the vicinity of the Harley Davidson factory in York, Pennsylvania. Okay? okay. So I live there. There's not a motorcycle person that I've ever met in my life that does not know about their bike. Yes. They're all into their bike. They know the size of the engine. Yep. They'll right. tell you how they broke it down. And by the way, when he says um, uh, the side pipes he was talking about back in the day, were ba- <laughs> they're called baffles. Mm-hmm. And baffles are on there. You get a Harley, it doesn't make a sound. You have to put the baffles on it to make that rumbling sound, which is basically what they say is loud pipes save lives, pretty much that yep. sort of a thing. So he's he's not giving you any information. If you were a big motorcycle guy, you couldn't get him to stop talking about his bike. You're right. People ask him questions like, I don't know. I don't know about that kind of thing. I just drive a Harley. Also, how did it get from California to Florida? That's a good question, too. Well, he did show <laughs> the bike today. Oh, he Ooh. did. He showed the bike in his garage. He took a pe- he had he did. somebody He had somebody take a picture of him sitting on the bike, giving the finger to prove the trolls yeah. wrong. That could have been a friend's yeah, bike. Yeah, it could have been Norbert's bike. Still, it could have been. I, I, I don't think it. I don't think it's his. He would. I, it, it, I just think that if he could lie, he would go as far as to get on a bike that he, he's sitting oh, on. I, I, I just think that he would have had the name of that. The question that person asked him about the size of the engine on the bike is not a. You know, it wasn't a big, difficult question. It's right off the tip of the tongue. We, we knew what it was. It generally is, but the only the only specs he knew of his motorcycle today was the hundred and fifty bucks it cost him to get it detailed yesterday. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Of course. All right, let's finish this clip, and I have one more. Th- oh, go ahead. No, finish I was going to say, can you finish this clip? I have yeah. a question about the clip. Yeah, okay. You done fucked up, boy. Skull. All right. My question is, <laughs> yes. can you skull if, with an insurer? Apparently, you can now. I didn't okay. realize that. Yeah, I thought that was like a meal. It's yeah, slim fast it's just or whatever tough he's drinking. It, acting tough when you're it drinking is. that. Yeah. Listen, if he can tilt it, he can skull with it. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah, right. That makes sense. I'm learning all the time. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see how John has proof that it was me who did this. I mean, of course I'm going to think it's you, you fucking snaggle to prick. Who else is it going to be? Nobody else knows about this dabble verse. So, of course. Then you fucking write that S, which is so indicative of your handwriting. How I mean, you, you would know? be the worst criminal in the world. He'd be the worst detective in the world, retired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Now, John, unlike you, um, I've actually made friends at Cape Coral who are fans of WATP. Oh, yeah. And we hang out with them when we go down there. There are people who know about the Devilverse who live in Cape Coral. I'm not going to give out names because I don't want them getting arrested. I want the FBI show up to their house for this. <laughs> but you know what? Fuck it. Let's see. Maybe I'll just put it on speakerphone. Let's see if we can call Stevie Tomatoes. Can you look up the phone number for me? Sure thing. Of Stevie Tomatoes. Oh, wait. Maybe I should look it up because I don't want you like, well, anyone can look it up. Yelling right? it on me. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just uh, yeah. it's just a business. Look it up for me. Oh, I'm going right. to try to call them. We got to get to the bottom of this. But first, 
check out this amazing artwork from the Chuckster posting this on Reddit. This is the depiction of John busting into the bathroom <laughs> with the manager. Yeah. Oh, this is a crime zone. Call the FBI and tell them Lady K is struck again. Go now. And you see me hiding behind the bathroom door as I'm writing these uh, horrible things on there. But then it was recently seen that John had Sharpie on his thumb. I was yeah, on Uncle right. Rico yesterday and we saw the Sharpie on his thumb. And so now we're wondering if uh, maybe he's the one who wrote this and there's the image of him actually doing but it himself. Maybe it was uh, to he, frame me. He was trying to retort and he's, he started writing. No, uh, SJ actually is cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he's trying to, yeah, try to change it. <laughs> For a good time. To this. <laughs> there's more evidence to this that he's presented. Oh. It was It was only this week that he was bragging that he went to Staples to go buy Sharpies. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. To oh, make geez. signs for his door. Right. Yes. Like because the delivery people. All of a sudden, people. a sharpie comes into his life, <laughs> and this is on a bathroom wall. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've never had oh, so many man. fresh markers. I bet there was well, a trail it, it, of <laughs> water softener salt in there too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, live on the You're air. Calling TV tomatoes on Pine Island. This is Bree. How may I help you? Yeah, hi, Bree. Um, I'm calling because I heard there's some graffiti in the bathroom, and I wanted to get to the bottom of this. Do you guys know? Do you know about this uh, this big deal that we're seeing? Oh, oh. 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 everyone's everyone's pranking Stevie to me. <laughs> You're the fifth person. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, here's, here's 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 what I thought you were gonna do. I thought you were just gonna call up. And just say, hey, can I just speak to the manager, please? I, I have uh, something. I should like have. I know. And then you go right to the manager because that, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't know, and she's not going to care. Yeah, I got to get uh, these fries you know. to table five, and this asshole. God damn it! Me. Exactly. <laughs> You're right. I had the wrong approach. I'm doing this all wrong. <laughs> Try it again. Oh no! This is someone different. <laughs> this is a different call. <laughs> this is my well, first listen. time calling your establishment. <laughs> well, uh, you it's the same thing. number. <laughs> <laughs> the way you handle that, we prove you're definitely not the sharpie guy in the back. Bathroom. No, I'm not, I'm not good at being sneaky at all. You definitely don't have the criminal mind for no, it. No, I definitely don't. All right, so the other thing John's doing now is he's finally furnishing his house that he bought a yeah, year ago. Little by little. And he's all proud of himself. And he's also a giant celebrity, as we all know. Isn't it weird? Everybody recognized me at Rooms to Go. When I walked in, stuttering John, taking a picture with a guy. Well, I wonder if that happens to any of you other idiots. No, because I don't go to rooms to go. I've yeah. never gone to rooms to go. I think yeah. they recognize him because he goes in there every day for a different component. He's like, okay, now I'm going to buy the power cord to the TV. Here's another three dollars on my layaway. Right. Well, he keeps I, I coming in negotiating. Think, that's he a keeps brag. Coming in and negotiate on the same sofa. Yeah. It's like, come on. 50 bucks. <laughs> oh, I, I see the entertainment center still here. No one else is going to buy it. Maybe you give it to me for 75% off. I don't know. I'm just saying. It'd be a shame if oh. someone dinged it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's obviously it's obviously that he's totally demented because, uh, look, he was on a famous show and everything, but, but it, not to the extent that he's going to show up. William Shatner, okay, walks into a place. Yeah. And people will be yelling about how he was on Star Trek, which is a million years ago. No one's doing that to this guy. I well, think no. if even Baba Booey walked into a place, they wouldn't be they wouldn't recognize him as quick as he says they recognize him. Well, also because like at least William Shatner still looks like William Shatner. Exactly. Suttering John doesn't even right. look like Suttering John anymore. Yeah. You would not recognize no. him if you were a fan of the E show or you saw him on TV thirty five years ago. It doesn't even make sense. Right there he looks I'm sorry, Cardiff, but he looks like what you're gonna look like when you get older. <laughs> oh he no! Looks like, he, he looks like a potato that's just that that, that no one loved. <laughs> just, that's that's kind of all right. Yeah, you got his number. <laughs> you nailed him with like, that one. Is it one potato that like at five guys they just kept throwing back in the bag, going, "No, nah, we don't want to make any fries out of this one." You know, it's just that bad. Mm. All right, so friends. John, we are friends, I love you, man. John's doing this thing where he's threatening everyone with photos of people's family members. And so now he's threatening Patrick Melton. But if you want to start fucking around, thanks to the wonderful people in the Dabbleverse, I have pictures of every family member, including Daniela. Well, yes, I do. So if you want to start fucking with me, go right ahead. 
These threats are so bizarre. He's posted photos of all my family members. He posted a photo of my sister. I don't know what that did to me. I'm still trying to figure out what you that said, did. Oh, that's a nice picture. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that, that is my sister. He you've got it, John. But also, he has no idea if these photos he's getting are right. really people or not. He has no idea. He's been he's been fooled by the potato at least three times with this yeah, shit. It's amazing. <laughs> he's so stupid. Well, the, the picture that was a. Uh, um, I, I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was, but it was an old picture, I think, of Frank Sinatra or something that was arrested. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you're right, like yeah. He's like, is this really Rocco Barone? Can someone tell me? Yeah, it's black and white. <laughs> so stupid. It's in 1936 on it. So fucking stupid, this guy. Such a moron. All right. Oh, man. So John doesn't understand that. So he has a pension, and he uses that money to pay his rent. So he thinks that equals living rent free. <laughs> He's so stupid. You all forget I get a pension. I don't know. I don't know how that slips your all. How does that slip your brains? You forget about that. Like you, like you don't even. It doesn't even register. I live rent free in California. I don't pay anything. <laughs> The only people living rent free are me and Shuli and Patrick Melton comes in on- <laughs> and uh, Bob and Vinnie Paulino. Why does he think that that's the same as living rent free? It's like, no, I get money and then I pay this. Pension comes in on the first, rent goes out on the first. Right. All automatically. Oh, because it's automated. Oh, so uh, oh, okay. he's living I stamp see. free. So if right. the money would have gone, if the money would have yeah. gone into his bank account, then he'd realize that then it goes out of his bank account. Yeah. And be like, oh shit, I'm paying rent. But the I, fact I, that I, it goes directly, yeah. he doesn't even realize it. It's I called it's auto pay, that. you dumb fuck. <laughs> yeah. I think he actually believes that if he actually touches it and right. has to hand it, yeah. then right. he believes he's paying it. But for some other reason, he doesn't. He doesn't think that he's he's paying it. Dear dear John, you dumb fuck. If you didn't give that money over to your landlord for that shitty apartment you live in, you would keep it for yourself for other things. That's why you're not living rent-free, dummy. Moving on. Let's talk about Joey C. John thinks Joey C is a fucking idiot, of course. I'm going to come out here. I'm not sending Joey C to link because he's an idiot who is a fucking scumbag who's so fucking stupid. He doesn't understand. It's not me texting him. It's not me calling. It's just like that lonely loony lady. They don't understand. It's not me. So Joey C and I were hanging out last weekend. Yeah. And uh, we were at the karaoke bar after the show. Mm -hmm. And the the famous Carl goes back behind the building with Joey C incident occurred. And uh, we go back there and he plays for me the voicemail or a couple of voicemails he got from John. It's John. It didn't sound like AI. Didn't sound like an impression. It was stuttering John Melendez. So I, I think John's lying on this one. That's my opinion. That's what I heard. I saw the text threads. I heard the voicemails. I think John is actually calling Joey C after he's drunk. He might forget. He sounded pretty loaded. Vinnie Paulino knows what that sounds like. <laughs> he's gotten those calls before. So this is the big thing that's been happening. We, we alluded to this earlier, Cardiff. These delivery people keep showing up at his house in Florida, and he's sitting in front of a window. He's just staring out the window, just getting distracted by delivery people <laughs> nonstop as he's doing the show. And so, th- and this one, what I decided to do was bring up the volume when he walks away to pick up the delivery, because oh, there's uh, a funny exchange that happens here. So, so what happens then? I think he's all distracted. Um, uh-huh. What was I going to say? I don't know. Well, there's a car in my driveway. If this is Vince, Vince, yeah. if this is you, I don't know how you got through. Let's see. He's just peeking Let's out see. the window. If this is Vince. Yeah. If it ain't Vince, then we get to have problems. So wait, so oh, which is it? If yeah. it is Vince, it's a problem. If it's not Vince, it's a problem. Like, what, what are we talking about here? I'm very oh. confused by this. Was this at the point in the week where he was telling us all that he had called Uber yes. Eats? I was just going to say okay. that. He goes, I've already called Grubhub and Uber Eats and told him not to deliver to my house. Like, <laughs> that's not how these apps work. You don't call someone. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Melendez. Yes, sir. No problem. You have no delivery list. Yeah. <laughs> but listen to the way he treats this delivery person. Uh, this is insane. Is that from Vince? Nothing. 
All right. I guess Vince was able to get through. Get through to what? What is he talking about? Oh. Ironclad defense. Yeah, right. I didn't know right No. The thing you do, tell your own up. Because you guys come here every day now. I'm famous. It ain't your fault. Don't worry, I'm not famous. I, I, don't, I don't know. No, I'm famous. They're, they're using you guys. They're wasting food. They're wasting your time. It's, it's I get trolled. Like, I'm, I'm a celebrity. So, so I get shit. fans. Like, Holy shit. He's, he's okay. giving, giving out all the lies. I'm famous. I'm a celebrity. I have trolls. Yeah. <laughs> He's mentally ill. And guess yes. what? She's not she's not biting on any of them. She's no. not it, it's going all around her. She could care she well, could care less. That's why well, he's gonna he, give out his credentials in a second, but go ahead. Oh uh, yeah, well that's the, the weird thing about it. He really wants her to understand how famous he is. He's not even really upset about the fact that the food keeps showing up. Right. He's like, I don't want this food to show up, but I also want you to know that I'm famous yes. and I'm not famous where people <laughs> are gonna be bothering me all day long. Since you're here and this is interaction with another human being. Yeah, we'll just well, tell you my uh, credits real quick. Yeah. Exactly. Johnson, John's new show, I'm a celebrity. Get this pizza out of here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a celebrity. So, Jesus. So I get fans. Like I was on how to start show, the tonight show, I've been movies. So I get fans that do that. Do I'm, I'm streaming it. So they do that to, you know, so you got to let your boss know. Okay. It, it was Uber Eats? No, it was a... Did you want a signature? Yeah, I know, but that's my name. Weird as hell. Okay, um, it's not Uber Eats. That's not Peter anything. No, I know it's not Peter. So that's why I'm just saying. Okay. I get mad, not at you, so I'm sorry. Uh, is that Katie or Katie? Katie. Katie, I'm sorry. I'm not mad at you. It's just they do this because I'm streaming. Okay. And they want to disrupt the stream. Well, it's your team on my side. Well, I know. I know. It's yeah, it's wasting your gas, it's wasting your time. So, so are you, you are Domino's? Oh, let her go. Oh, I know. Who's wasting her time, John? You're let wasting her go. time. Gives a oh, shit. Still, it's the funniest part of his show. Do you think she understands anything that's going on right now? I'm she screaming right shit. now. They're throwing my shit. No. She's like, all right. No. Yeah, sir, if you were mad at me, it'd be more entertaining. Can yeah, you right. ramp it up yeah. a little? <laughs> she sees a guy that's that's out of control, and yeah. she's just trying to get away from the situation. Yeah, absolutely. She's not hearing anything he says. Deep, deep in there, there was a point where he's like, is it Caddy or Katie? Yes, I know. I heard that, too. name tag? And yeah. you can't read Katie? Must be, Who yes. Yeah. Yeah. Who's, who's named Caddy? Well, <laughs> he, is, he assumes that she is uh, <laughs> some type of uh, a Spanish-speaking person. Uh, because near the end, he tries to speak Spanish to her. And she oh, just God. responds in English because his Spanish is so bad. After, <laughs> after all of this? Don't never deliver an audience this address ever, ever again. All right? And I'm going to talk... I called Rumble, but I got to close. I, I don't know what they use. Reese? We do Reese and uh, DoorDash. DoorDash, probably. I need to call DoorDash. Okay. So just let them know. Okay, I'll let them know this is because we don't deliver here. Yeah, don't deliver here. You know I have a word for Domino's right now? No. Okay. No. Okay. Thank you so much, Katie. Have a great time. Sorry, I got mad. No, I know. I didn't see the first week, Katie. I wasn't mad at you. I was just mad at these oh. idiots. I think it's funny. Yeah, it's not right. Yeah. yeah you, you can, can tell. tell. Oh, this is quite hot. You're talking about it. You're such a cute girl. How old are you? Oh my! All right, God. we've gotten inappropriate at this point, John. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. What are you doing? So young. Again, it just interaction with how someone. Young are you? No, he goes. He goes. You're a young girl. How old are you? Oh, young girl. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're still on the mission. Too old. Yeah, you know, you know, this should be wasting your time. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll do it right now. All right. Thank you. Okay. She's actually. Come stop, man. Do I have to push the first thing? Also, speak to me. Yeah. My young father. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. She's in her car talking at this point. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. trying to always spare. She goes, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yep. Yeah. See ya. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> she ain't moving an inch. Not moving an inch. The funny thing about him is like he's so into himself that he believes anybody who comes upon he comes upon yeah is gonna be excited. Automatically knows the situation. Yeah, and he did it there. He did it in Atlantic City yeah. when the yep. security guard came up and said, well, these guys are trashing my kids. Mm -hmm. And the only people that understood what he was talking about are people who followed along. Security right. guard had no idea what he was talking about. <laughs> people smart enough to watch from home. No, it's, it's literally like, I say this a lot, but it's true. John is a child. Children think that everyone is perceiving the world through their eyes. Yeah.
They have no idea that other people don't give a shit about them and aren't following at their every move. You're not the Truman Show. Retards too, John. Yeah. Uh. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, what a great time <laughs> how'd you know i needed a, how'd you know i wanted a nice hot dog vince jesus that's amazing so he right. accepted it yeah he did uh, he accepted that. it he got he got a tall boy coors light so he was happy about it oh, it was paid for so. I can't wait till he's on the show screaming about how he can never get food delivered anymore. Oh, yeah, no I know. One, no one will deliver here anymore. Yeah, the, people are going to stop delivering there, and he's going to want to get Grubhub one night, and he's going to be SOL. It'll be funny. So that was Wednesday. Fast forward to Thursday. I just want to show you how the show starts off. He looks terrible. He looks really bad. Yeah, baby, how oh. are you? <laughs> oh. Welcome to the Stuttering John podcast, the Hypocrisy Police edition. Oh boy, I'm sweating. Get out of this shower, and I just hung up some of my sports memorabilia. So he's sweating from hanging up sports memorabilia. Probably had to put mm. a, a nail and a stud or something. <laughs> what a word! <laughs> <laughs> wow, must have been tough oh, for you. He's so gross. What's wrong with this guy? Can't get out of his own way. And this is not no. 10 a.m. even. This is in the afternoon. He's, he looks like this. Get your shit together, John. What are you doing? Okay. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So now we're going to talk about stupid John. And I talked about this a little bit on Point Dabble Point yesterday. But I can't talk about this enough because what we watch Vince do is set these traps and put out this bait for John. And John falls for it. Very similar to the guy that we had called into Point Dabble Point who was able to trap John into thinking that he was a hot chick. He didn't have to reach out to John. (laughs) He just had to have a hot chick photo respond to a tweet that he knew John would see. And then John DM'd him and was trying to hook up. Like it's that easy to bait John into things, right? So this is what Vince does. He puts out a video making fun of Mike Morse and pretending that he knows what Mike Morse is typing in the private chat during an episode of Uncle Rico, and John falls for it. Look at this guy. He is not paying attention. There it is. And th- I guess Vince found out what he's writing. He didn't. Because what Vince is saying that Mike Morse is writing is, Phil, that super chat used my ex-wife's photo, block it now, and there's about 10 exclamation points. Now, first off, Mike doesn't call Joe Phil. Only John and Vince do. And secondly, when you're in the private chat, you don't have time to put that many exclamation points in there. Like yeah, you're yeah. you're kind of like you're doing a show. Hurry. You might have yeah, to do something real quick and then move on. Good point. And of course, Vince wouldn't know what he's typing in there. Always oh, hacked the computer. And he knows what he's typing. Of course not. So this is John now falling for it completely because he wants to believe it. And he loves this. Phil, that super chat used my ex-wife's photo. Block it now. Wah, wah, wah. Uh oh, retard alert. <laughs> retard alert class. John, you fall for these things so easily, and then he thinks he's getting over, which is even worse. Oh. It'd be one thing if he's just like, oh, geez, that looks bad for Mike. But instead, he's just like, I win again. You're like, yeah. no, John, you're, you're being duped by a guy who's not even trying that hard. He's not even trying. Vince's Lord, he doesn't have to try that hard not to get John all. to fall for this shit no, anymore. Man. So bad. And then John says something that actually he's saying it sarcastically, but it's true. You gotta be fucking with me. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah. Actually, yeah. John, he actually is fucking with you, dummy. This guy, you know, you have to, you know, listen, I don't know if you believe in a higher being or not. I don't know what you guys feel yeah. spiritually or anything, but there, but there's got to be somebody in this universe looking after this guy. There's no way you could get this far in life with, with, with being this way. There's well, got to be something that, that's helping him get around. There's Mr. Magoo. There's Inspector Gadget. I mean, there's a lot of yeah. examples of people like this that are able to get by. <laughs> Wiley Coyote. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, but yeah, the difference is, though, you can draw them where they need to go. You <laughs> yeah. Know? yeah, right. <laughs> I, I could also use this image as an argument against there being a higher power. <laughs> right. Yes. That's a good point, well, too. You, okay, it's a good point. Yeah. Oh, man. 
So there's no way he's getting late. No one's no one's doing no, this. No, he's not, no, definitely not. He's Although not he's, getting late. I, I don't have the clip, but he's getting in shape for the ladies. He was making all these weird faces <laughs> and talking about how he's getting in shape for the ladies. Like, oh, yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, Harrison <laughs> Young has a better chance. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, he, he can get in shape all he wants. Unless he's going to cut his head off, he ain't going to meet nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so then, you think that's a good idea? So then Vince, who, will, Vince, who he swears to God he'll never talk to ever again, this uh, was yeah. earlier this month, comes on the show. And this is how you know that Vince is lying, because his lips are moving. Vince is always lying, and John is always falling for it. The man of the hour, the one, the only, Vincent M. Bestie. How are you, Vince? Well, now you love me because I did a, a segment that was for you. <laughs> well, but you were being factual. 100%. It wasn't technically meant to be for you, but it was just to be factual. Stupid! You're so stupid! <laughs> He's falling for everything exactly how Vince wants him to fall for yeah. it. It's incredible. He's really dumb. Sorry, John. John, Vince is lying to you. He's always lying to you. He's always trolling you. I've told you this a million times. He believes me and then he starts believing me. And then he believes me and then he starts believing me. He's trolling you. None of that actually happened, moron. Oh, I want to point this out. This is kind of neither here nor there. But how many times in Cardiff, you know the war pretty well. How many times has John said, you know, guys, I actually don't get drunk as much as you guys think I do. You guys all think I'm just drinking all the time. I, I never get drunk. Very rarely. I mean, we've heard you're him asking, say that, right, Carter? Are you asking oh, for a yeah, number? Yeah. Because I have to pull out my calculator. But yes, <laughs> yeah. So now he's on with Vince, and this is a weird thing to admit to. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, you look like you tied one on last night. I tied one on every night. <laughs> yeah, we know. That face. And he, he, <laughs> he looks. He looks like jerky. Yes. You know? <laughs> yeah, we were talking about Shatner before. He's got a little of that going on. <laughs> yeah. He looks, he's also he's that, really that, leathered. that blobfish. What is it called? Is it a blobfish? Mm -hmm. Sure. It's blobfish, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of similarities there, too. Um, so then there's this new audio that's been going around. Someone posted it on YouTube, but it's showing up in all of our algorithms. People are sending it to me. I'm seeing it on YouTube. There's another song that John produced for the Howard Stern Show back in the day when he was an oh, intern. Right. And uh, John thinks the comedy is throwing out F slurs for some reason. And so a super chatter points that out to him. K Mac 3344. Thanks for having Just watch a clip from Howard Stern with your poor Jew boy song and calling. Uh, no, I, no, I didn't use the F word for gay. Okay. So uh, John is claiming that uh, he didn't do that. Mm -hmm. However, I have the, uh, the audio. Uh -oh. Of what this person is referring to. He's hot as fire. Can you smell him burn? <laughs> what? He's hotter than fire. Can you smell him burn? Yeah, this is a heavy oh, metal. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst, man. Uh, <laughs> you know, another, another meaningless song. He's final tap without ever having been big. You know? I know. <laughs> <laughs> he's such a swine, man. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? If you don't like him, you did it again, didn't you? Are you doing this on purpose? Well, if you don't like him, you stupid rotten it's Well, that's just. Oh, you so Didn't he just deny on his show that he ever said that word? Oh, jeez. Didn't he not just sing it, but also say it, and was proud of himself just now? Oh yeah, he's cracking he's himself up. Yeah, it was. It's the worst one of the of the two, if you ask well, me. Still, yeah. <laughs> um. So I don't know. That's that's not a good look for him. Well. Let's let's see where this goes to. Ridiculous! <laughs> How could you write these lyrics? In the wake of things that are dumb. <laughs> What's, isn't that the name of your album? Or is it in the wake of things to come? Uh, Rocks in that. the head is Rocks. that the name of the Rocks in the head. I got a name for your band, the Jerk Offs. <laughs> come on, man. All right, so uh, well, let's go on with this song. I can't believe he put another insulting song What's together. What's going on, man? What do you mean? This isn't insulting. This is not insulting to you. I said, if you don't like him, then you know. Well, how can I play that on the air if you're going to be calling people? <laughs> you know, we don't do that. I mean, haven't you gotten hip to the show? We don't call people. <laughs> well, this is a long. This is right after I wrote the other song, man. This is, this is ancient. <laughs> oh, he wrote this weeks ago. I mean, he didn't know. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> things things have changed. Of course, this is going back to like 1989. We're, we're what we're playing right now, but. Three big city. 
don't know. It's not a real good song, though. You don't it's like the real, riff? It's not I real like catchy. It. All of his songs do that same thing where, like, he says a thing, and then it's like, ah, uh, or do, do, yeah, do, yeah. up. He's got a pattern that yeah. he has for, well, you know, it's, it's he's pausing for the laughter. Oh, maybe that's what it is, yeah. It's Howard, Howard, just, what's scary is he just, he knew the whole time. He knew exactly the kind of person that Stuttering John was. He did. And when you hear some of the old clips, I mean, the fact that he, he it introduced him as hero of the stupid, okay? Mm-hmm. And now he walks around trying to tell people he was in Mensa. That's a pretty big leap. <laughs> right. <you know? laughs> but the, only a guy that dumb would do that, though. Yeah. Because this is the thing about John, once you learn the psychology of it, he thinks everyone is as dumb as him. So things that dupe him, he thinks he can dupe other people with. And it never works, and he can't figure out why. He can't figure out why his lies don't work. And he thinks that, well, everyone else is lying about being in Mensa. No. Most people, if they are, they'll be truthful about it. If they aren't, they won't pretend that they are. Who are these podcasts? W-A-R.